Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your December love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Cancers, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you. So we're going to take a look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with in love for the month of December, their feelings towards you. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. It's like somebody is feeling a little bit skeptical, okay? That's what that's feeling like to me. Somebody's feeling a little bit skeptical here. Four of Wands for their intentions. You know, Cancer, this is feeling almost like somebody really wants something to work between the two of you. The Four of Wands is like taking something to the next chapter, like reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment, a celebration. I do feel like somebody really wants this to work. That's their intention, um, is to make this work, is to make this a successful mm -hmm. connection. But they are feeling a little bit skeptical. That could be about either like taking something to the next step. Maybe they're not sure if you guys are both ready or if it's a good idea at this time. Um, especially with this Four of Wands being here. The Four of Wands can represent like the home. So this could look like, you know, taking the next, it can also represent marriage. So maybe they feel like you're not, you know, even though they want this to work, they could feel like, you know what, maybe I'm a little bit hesitant to take something to the next level, moving in together, getting engaged, that kind of thing. Um... For some of you guys, I also feel like there's people around them that have some things to say and it's causing, it's like planting seeds of doubt, okay? So let's take a look and see. Their next actions though, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do like that. I think things are moving forward and progressing in the way that they're meant to. So it doesn't really look like to me that they're letting some of these doubts and things hold them back too much. Your energy showing up in this cancer. We have the King of Wands. You know what you want and you're ready for it. I feel like you're also wanting to see some kind of action here. Now, for some of you guys, maybe things have just been this way for a while and you're like, you know what, it's time. It's time to move things forward and I, I want to know that you're serious about me. I want to know you're serious about this connection and it's time to go to that next step. For others of you, I feel like this is somebody that you guys were in separation with, okay? And you guys have come back together, and it does look like this is, you know, it's definitely on the right track. But I feel like you're wanting, you know, things to move forward in a bigger way. Then they may be a little bit skeptical about how ready they are or how ready you guys are together for those next steps. So just take it how it resonates for you. The challenge between the two of you in the month of December, we have the Nine of Cups. So, the Nine of Talks or the Nine of Cups as a challenge, and when it basically puts it in the reverse, and that reverse meaning can feel um, feeling a little bit discontent and unsatisfied. So somebody could be feeling like, you know what, why are you not happy with the way that things are between the two of us right now? Why do we have to, like, why the pressure? Why are we having to move forward in such a big way? Um, you know, what's wrong with just taking our time here? You know, somebody could be feeling like that here. This could also be you feeling very, you know what, like, no, we've been here. It's it's time. You know, you could be feeling um, un satisfied with the way that things are. You're not feeling content with the way that things are between the two of you or where you guys are at. Now the Nine of Cups as well can talk about in the traditional Rider Waite deck he's surrounded by cups and I do see that sometimes as like support. Um, like I said, I do feel like there for some of you guys there are people that have things to say. So it could be other people, you know, that are around them that are like, you know, are you sure you're ready for that? Are you sure that that's a good idea? So especially for those of you where this is a reconciliation, where somebody is coming back to you, and then you know you're wanting things to move forward, and somebody could be having things to say about that. And it's definitely you know planting seeds of doubt. And that while with the action being the wheel of fortune, I think things are still moving forward. So we're going to clarify some things. 
tell me about this page of swords in the reverse. Ooh, that's too many. Tell me about this page of swords. The page of swords in the reverse. If I don't pick them up. You have the Ace of Cups. So somebody's, you know, feeling a lot of love, feeling a lot of emotion. Um, but at the same time, you know, the Ace of Cups is emotions overflowing. They could just be feeling a little bit overwhelmed uh, with the whole thing. Tell me about this Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. You know, I do feel a very, like, a strong determination with this Four of Wands, Nine of Wands energy together to make something work, to, to have this be successful. They want to be happy. They want you to be happy. They want this relationship to work. And even through the hesitations and maybe what other people are saying, you know, that is the, the main energy here from this person is they are determined to make this work. They want this to be successful. They want this relationship to grow. They just want to do it in the in the right way, in a way that you guys are both ready for. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is that here? We have the Seven of Wands. You know, this could definitely be them blocking out other people's thoughts, other people's opinions. It can also be, you know, a standing ground, like a standing of the ground, um, a persistence here. And like I said, I feel a very determined, persistent energy. Like you guys are both persistent to make this work. And that may come with them having to shut out other people's opinions, you know, shut out that noise in order to move forward. Even here at the bottom of the deck, you see this Three of Cups. And now third-party stuff doesn't always have to be cheating and things like that. You know, to me, this can be any anybody who's affecting your guys' connection, friends, family. That can all be third-party energy, right? So to me, this is just a lot of people, okay? There's a lot of people that have things to say about this. Tell me about this King of Wands energy. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So you're just wanting to plant new seeds. Like you're wanting this to move forward, especially for those of you where this is a reconciliation. It's like you waited for this. I feel like this is what you really wanted, Cancer. And now you're just ready. You're just excited and you and you know what you want, you know. Just try to make sure. It's hard when we get excited and we get passionate and we just want things to move forward. Um, you know, just... Just recognize where this person is at as well. Tell me about this Nine of Cups in the reverse. Why is that here? We have the Seven of Swords. And the Temperance. So I feel like somebody's just not wanting to mess things up. They're trying to make the decisions that they feel are the best. And the Seven of Swords can definitely talk about... Um, sabotaging as well now they could feel like there's other people that have some negative opinions and it's important to recognize what people's intentions are when they're giving advice okay but i feel like someone's just not wanting to mess things up here i do like this you know there may be a need to be a little bit patient with some things here but it does look like things are moving forward to me and if it is other people that you know are afflicting a lot of this doubt I do feel like that is going to be getting shut off. Somebody's going to be able to shut that out. So we're going to grab a potential outcome here. And we have the star card. So wish fulfillment, balance, hope. Very, very positive. I really like that. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, then thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you soon.